Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tap Teardown video. We will be taking a look inside the M1 Max Max Studio Model A2615. Alright, so we're going to start by removing this rubber cover on the bottom case here. Use a pair of tweezers or a pry. Fasten the four screws uh, around the perimeter there that hold the bottom case plate on. And remove the bottom case using a suction cup. Remove the two screws holding in the power supply motherboard bus. And then the four screws holding the power supply into the internal frame and now we're going to lift up carefully on that power supply there are two cables that are connected underneath the power plug uh, that runs from the wall outlet right there into the power supply unclip the lever and pull it out and the bottom cable there is the power supply signal cable that runs to the main board there we're going to remove the eight t6 black screws that hold this internal frame to the housing pull out that internal frame plate and set it aside all right so now we're going to go ahead and unplug the power supply signal cable from the motherboard plug the three wi-fi antenna cables unplug the cooling fan flex cables from both sides of the motherboard unfasten the m.2 ssd and remove the front panel type c connectors remove the screws that hold the ports to the housing Remember to remove the flex cables from the logic board before taking the Type-C ports out of the housing. Repeat this same process for the SD card reader as well. Don't forget to remove the flex cable on the SD card reader that runs to the hard drive activity light on the right hand side. If you're looking for any parts or tools, check out the links below. If you're interested in mail-in repair or data recovery service, check us out at techdep.com. We do it all, every day. Unplug that flex cable that is underneath the cover. Remove the internal speaker, unplugging the power button flex cable from the board. Remove the two screws holding the retention bracket over the flex cables and unscrew the last two screws holding the board in place. Unplug the flex cables that hold the board uh, to the main board there. The board and then the power plug will come out as well in this step. Remove the other Wi Fi antennas, unscrew the pulling unit to the motherboard. Here to remove the four screws along the perimeter of the motherboard. And flipping the logic board over, you can get a look at that M1 Max, Max Studio chip. And after removing the fans, we can finally access the T5 screws that hold that third Wi-Fi antenna in and remove them. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe.